No pressure at all to it. Ah, that's okay. We're going to compare you to Patrick Mahomes. So here's what's in front of Tua, Tyreek, and the Dolphins to start out the gate. They open up the season at home against the Patriots and three of Miami's next four games on the road, including a Thursday night meeting against the reigning AFC champs, the Bengals. Two of their tougher non-division games come later in the season against Justin Herbert as well as Aaron Rodgers. Let's bring in Diana Rossini and Jeff Saturday and RG3. Jeff, let's start with you first. Did Tyreek just put too much pressure on Tua comparing him to Mahomes? Because I, I honestly feel like Tua is a victim of circumstance here. He has an opportunity to get better, and now he's in the same sentence as Patrick Mahomes by his star wide receiver. Yeah, I don't love this. And listen, I know he's trying to take up for his guys. He's new to the team. He wants to you know, endear himself to Tua. But here's the truth. I play with two Hall of Famers, Peyton Manning and Aaron Rodgers. Every question people ask me, they always wanted to compare quarterback. I would never compare them. Look, they're different players. So when you're talking about Patrick Mahomes, this guy's already won a Super Bowl, an MVP. He's had his team in the hunt year after year. Tua is just trying to get his career started and on the right track of what people expected when he was drafted out of Alabama. So when you're talking about putting pressure on a guy, this is a prove-it season for Tua anyway. I just think from you know from Hill's perspective, you know he's upset with the Chiefs for letting him go. He's at a new team highest paid receiver in NFL history he wants to put his you know put his name on I get it but let's let's wait until you actually play a game with a guy before you put him in the same sentence Robert how much pressure are you feeling if you're Tua right now after your wide receiver just said that Oh, I'm not feeling any pressure. I don't think there's no one that can put more pressure on Tua Tungavailoa right now after what the Dolphins have done to bring in all this talent. So the comparison I make is, listen, just because you put two guys in the same sentence doesn't mean that they're on the same level. If I said that Luke Kennard was the best three-point shooter or is just as good a three-point shooter as Steph Curry, I'd be correct because he led the NBA in three-point shooting percentage this year. But that doesn't mean I'm taking Luke Kennard over Steph Curry. So I just think this is a situation where Tyreek Hill is tired of guys getting getting on his quarterback, right, going at him, and he is literally going full Terrell Owens, mm -hmm. that's my quarterback meme right now. That's my quarterback. <laughs> he wants people to understand that he <laughs> believes in Tua, and I respect him for that. Uh, but, of course, you don't want to continue to make comparisons because now we're sitting here talking about it. Diana, when you look at the yeah. situation with the organization with the Dolphins, they've been searching for a quarterback for years, since Dan Marino, okay? But they also have a backup plan, and there are rumors about Tom Brady in, in the offseason. Uh, how many weeks will Tua be the quarterback if he struggles out the gate here? I mean, it's true, right, Kevin? It's no secret that Miami has been flirting a bit with other quarterbacks because they know something about Tua that maybe we don't even know yet, which maybe they don't really believe he's the guy. But he is for now, right? Because now they're invested in him. They make the trade for Tyreek Hill. Their head coach <clears throat> believes in him. He He's hoping to help him be more productive. So this could go into the positive range very quickly. So talking about when we're going to see Teddy Bridgewater take over, we're maybe a little early on it, but it's certainly a possibility. And, and you know, going back to just what Tyreek Hill's doing in terms of comparison, it just makes it really hard for Tua here, right? He already has challenges ahead of him. In fact, I want our executive producer, Pete McConville, to pull that sound so we play it in October and hear if he's talking about Patrick Mahomes versus Tua in terms of accuracy and if he still believes that. Because right now it's June, everyone's in shorts, and everyone's happy. Pete, by the way, says absolutely. He stashed it to the side because when we see the way the Dolphins' schedule looks like in the first four weeks after catching 111 balls, let's see where Tyreek is if he's not getting enough targets his way in this offense. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.